Now, the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office has not released the name of the officer who died. Governor Rick Scott calling Sheriff Mike Williams this morning to express his condolences. We know the body of that officer is at the medical examiner's office where it was taken after the policeman died at the hospital early this morning. We've got several crews following this developing story. We, story. we start with news for Jack's reporter Ashley Spicer, who's been on the scene all morning long. And one of the reasons we may not know the name, and the sheriff alluded to this earlier, is that he had a lot of family. They want to make sure that they notify everybody before giving his name publicly. That's right, Bruce. They want to make sure that the family finds out properly. He said that this officer has a big family and it's a spread out family, meaning not everyone's here in Jacksonville. So they want to make sure that everyone is notified first before they hear it from us. And honestly, that's the way it should be. And we want to respect that. I'm here at Alta Drive at I-295. Looks very different than how it did this morning. You can see it's open for use. Uh, this is the exit ramp to get onto I-295 northbound. It was shut down this morning for about five hours. Officers cleared this area just after 10 when the patrol car was towed away. We have Sky 4 video as officers worked to secure this scene and investigate. It's been a very difficult morning out here for one of the for them after one of their own died. And this morning at 430, the officers slid off of I-295 northbound at this Alta Drive exit and down into the embankment, hitting a tree. He was taken to the hospital where he died and two FHP officers saw it happen. They were there at the time responding to a nearby traffic crash. Sheriff Mike Williams addressed the media this morning and spoke about the difficulty of today losing an officer. You know, if you're going to get hurt in this job, one of the main ways you are going to get hurt is in traffic, a traffic crash of some sort. So, you know, this just reinforces a point that we've been talking about uh, for a little bit over a year now internally inside the agency about traffic safety and and I've been talking about it a lot in the community too, but it, it, it's, a, uh, it's another reminder of the risk that you know, the men and women of JSO take on every day when they come to this job. It's not just a tagline and a talking point. This is, this is you know, doesn't get any more real than this. So, um, you know, yeah, tough day for us. very devastating again this officer just doing his job just pursuing looking for a crash that had already happened uh, you know just patrolling through the area and the sheriff says the weather could have played a role in that crash because it was raining very hard at 4 30 in fact we were out here early dark rainy slick roads we're not sure exactly what caused him to go off the roadway Uh, Ashley was talking about the fact they're not sure about what caused that police officer to go off the roadway. We can tell you it was raining at the time, and Sheriff Williams said even though the FHP investigation is, is not complete, he wouldn't be surprised to hear that uh, weather did not play a factor. It looks like the officer went off the ramp there at Alta Drive down an embankment. We don't know if the car flipped, but there is damage on both sides of the vehicle and the rear flashers were going. More on that FP, FHP investigation as the uh, day develops. Meantime, Jacksonville Mayor Lenny Curry is expressing his condolences during an active shooter training summit this morning. He called the police officer's death terrible and sad news. The mayor led a moment of silence during the event in Riverside with sheriff's officers standing beside firefighters. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Harding spoke with the mayor what more did he have to say? You know, Bruce, he reiterated again what a somber day it is here in Jacksonville, knowing that this happened, especially since today is also Police Officers Memorial Day. We're here in front of JSO headquarters. I just want to show you that black and blue banner that is there to honor officers killed in the line of duty. And also, look over that way. The American flag has been lowered to half stop and Sheriff Mike Williams had been scheduled to attend that active shooter summit this morning. That was until he learned what happened to his officer. Let's show you that video. This is video from that summit. The groups began first by holding that moment of silence for the officer who passed away this morning. And one thing we noticed, several officers had already placed a stripe across their badges, symbolizing the death of an officer. Now we spoke to both Mayor Lenny Curry and JSO Director Mike Bruno. Here's what they had to say about this tragedy that has happened in our city this morning. And every day that they go to work, they realize um, something could happen that, that changes their lives or, or the, the lives of their family. So, um, uh, you know, they're, they're mindful of it. But uh, I actually heard uh, someone the other day uh, talk about heroes or the individuals that every day pin on the badge or put on the uniform knowing they may not come back but go out anyway 
Um, so, so, so that's what these men and women are. As details emerge, uh, I've let the sheriff know, uh, and I was, when I was speaking to our law enforcement in there, you know, whatever, whatever the need is, get in front of me and ask me, and I will move mountains to make it happen. And Director Bruno, whom you heard from there first, also talked about having lost other fellow officers in the line of duty over the years. Look beyond those beyond those doors you see there at the Police Memorial Building is a row of pictures of other fallen officers who lost their lives in the line of duty here, here in Jacksonville. And there's no doubt today that the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office is paying tribute to this officer who gave his life in the line of duty this morning. Reporting live, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station. Ashley, thank you. Reaction also filtering in on social media. Florida Highway Patrol tweeting this about an hour ago. As I stood there in the room when they made the final call of life to my at JSO PIO brother, this became one of the hardest days of my life. God bless you, brother. Your sacrifice will never be forgotten. The St. John's County Sheriff's Office tweeted, Our thoughts are with the officer's family and your agency as you address the loss of one of your own. If there is anything we can do to assist... We are here for your team. And the Fraternal Order of Police released this statement. Our thoughts and prayers are with the officer's family during this tragic time. We are grieving with them and will be there to help in any possible way. Now, Sheriff Williams said this morning that weather was probably a factor in this crash.